Good morning, everybody. I am boondocking here in Oklahoma. Well, I'm definitely dry camping because there's no hookups here. This is a Corps of Engineer paid campground with no hookups. And I am the only RV here all day yesterday. There's a couple people used the boat launch. Oh yeah, did I mention I'm right on a lake camping? It's beautiful blue water out here. Nice little spot. Uh, there's the wind though <laughs> it's still windy today yesterday we had 70 mile an hour gusts recorded 70 mile an hour not sustained but still 74 miles per hour is a category one hurricane <laughs> so uh it was tricky it was tricky driving yesterday in the wind and i did film some stuff and i lost that footage from this camera i still have not figured out what has happened but I lost a lot, like 20 gigs of good video from yesterday's trip. It either happened when the camera fell because the wind knocked it over during a time lapse, then I lost everything, or I may have pulled the card out too early. <laughs> That's what she said. And I, I don't know. I'm kind of sad about that. But we're going to start a new day. Very new. Clean shaven Eric. I had a little goatee trimming accident actually, and so I was gonna I was gonna leave the I think he called the handlebars. And I didn't like that very much, and then I left the the uh, mustache, and I started shaking my head. I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna start over. And I feel like I really regret that decision, but I, I since I cannot maintain a trimmed, neat goatee, I just always mess it up. So we're gonna start from scratch. And I kind of didn't want to film. I was like, well, let's just not film until it grows back in a week and no I'll film it'll grow back no worries <laughs> but yeah gonna get on the road and leave this spot I really liked it it was really peaceful really pretty but yeah Oklahoma and, and you know Miranda's dirty I am going to wash her today but I'm gonna do something totally different I'm actually gonna try one of these truck washes these blue beacons that people talk about uh, the, a lot of people have had good success with um bring in all sorts of trucks and RVs through. So I'm gonna try it and show you how it really goes. We shall see. And I'm bypassing Oklahoma City cause I've been there before and I don't like the big city and Oklahoma stole our basketball team. Boo, Sonics. But hey, go Mariners. They're looking good this year. Looking really good this year. So yeah, we'll uh, head west, but slowly because of the wind. Mm, that smells good. And then when it's done, You'll probably notice my Pac-Man graphics start to light up once the liquid is hot in there. It shows up all the characters and everything. So got that breeze coming across here. It is intense wind. Not bad. All right, let me uh, put the jacks up, put the slides in, put everything away, and we'll get on the road, try to go get the uh, RV washed today. I am so happy to be getting off the highway right now. The wind is insane. Not the worst I've ever driven in. And this is ridiculous. It's almost hard to keep the RV in between the lines. Almost. That might be a little too dramatic, but it is a lot of work just to keep this RV between the lines right now with this wind. All right, this uh, blue beacon truck wash off to the right, that turquoise building, that, that's it. That's the exit, so I gotta figure out how to get there and how I pay and who I talk to. Since I've never done this before, uh, we'll figure it out here. It says height 14 foot, width 13 foot. That works for me. This is a very strange place to put huge rocks and boulders where the semi trucks have to turn. <laughs> they really don't want your wheels to hit the grass, I guess. And I have no idea how long this will take. This line. Looks to be about six semi trucks long, so I'll let you know. I know one of the questions some of the RV people might ask is about the price. And the, online it says that it's $30 for an RV up to 30 feet. I'm 32, so I guess I fall into the category of motorhomes over 30 foot is $37.50. So $7.50 more. I'm guessing whether you're 30 or 50, it's going to be $37.50, I believe, is the cost. And, you know, factor that in with the fact that most RV parks don't allow you to physically wash your RV by hand or how long it takes, how strenuous it is, how much you're going to sweat in the summertime. Um, so I'm going to try it. We'll, we'll just see what happens. 
I'll let you know exactly how much time it took from the time I parked over there by the rocks to the time I get out and everything. So off camera there, an employee just came out because I am next here and uh, walked me through. I told him it's my first time and everything. So they have some options. They have a rain next protectant they can put on it. The RV is $5 extra for a brush wash. That means no pressure washing and soap and stuff, but actually hand brush washed the RV. I think that's worth the $5 extra right there. They have a bunch of other stuff. They, they don't really scrub the roof, but they have overhead sprayers that, that clean the roof if that makes sense. So it gets the dust and grime and stuff off, but it's not pressure washing the solar panels or the um, seals around the holes of the roof and stuff like that. So uh, once we get parked in, they'll bring me in there. I get out of the RV. I go to the lobby. I pay. I wait. And then I get back in the RV and come back. So as soon as this tow truck's done, we're going to be heading on in. I think they did uh, really good work there. One of the things that some people worry about is the seals on the RV because if that pressure washer hits some of the places that have silicone or seals around the window or something then you could have a problem. So I would opt to be mindful and tell them you know I want the hand wash I want the brush don't put that pressure washer rinser you know so close to the RV but you know so I gotta get a new wheel simulator. I found them it's the uh, 10 lug 19.5 inch Ford Dually rear wheel simulators. They are $98 for a pair of them. So I will get a pair and have an extra one. And I will probably make it a point to check the lugs for now. I'll go to the other side real quick. So in case you don't know, the way these are attached, and I think these are called Pacific Duallys is the brand. The way they are attached is at 12 o'clock and six o'clock and I don't know which one exactly but there's one right there so you see how that's hand tight that is not good that's what attaches <laughs> darn it uh, okay so I will uh, get my big wrench and put that one on tighter and this one down here that's what secures these on there the rest of them are all fake just for looking but the 12 o'clock and six o'clock one is what keeps this mounted because these are not snap-on ones these are meant to never come off while you're driving but no i am really really happy with the job they did uh, i will go back to blue beacon again although i also like doing it myself it's just there's so many places that don't allow you to so that that's tough on the road I am back here at the Corps of Engineers campground. There is uh, two people over there. It looks like they're using it for day use camping or just day use area picnic. But yeah, off camera, I am going to definitely put my feet in the water over here because uh, it looks really inviting to me. But I'm, I'm in no rush to get to where I'm going, but I do have a friend who's kind of coming the opposite way and I don't know. I really want to see some friends right now. So I am making a little bit of an adjustment as I head west here, but definitely still digging the, the back roads. So I'll do a little bit of editing while the sun's still out and I got all this solar, right? Yeah. So I may be using this Canon camera a little more uh, because of its dependability. I know it has terrible stabilization and the stuff in the background is going to be blurred while only my fit and people hate that from this channel. But you know, this is a better camera. It's a more reliable camera. I'm probably going to stick with it a little more after the snafu problems with GoPro. I mean, I lost a lot of footage and that hurt. I have made some changes to the bedroom area, so I wanted to, uh, point that out to you. I let you know a couple videos ago that I had no bedding so I have now picked a, a bed in a box that kind of matches the brown themes in here and everything has some matching pillowcases and some other sheets and stuff. I also added this lamp and yes I screwed it into the countertop just like I did the leg lamp. It is permanent. It can stay there. It has a switch button because 
I actually have a hard time reaching these switches when I'm in bed, so I don't really have a reading light, uh, you know, so yeah, that kind of helps. I also do have a fan that is plugged into the outlet there for night just to give me a little bit of air, because remember, this window only cracks open. And then storage. This is the big change, is that I am no longer folding my shirts, but I'm hanging up my shirts. I don't know if that's really big news, but it does make it easier for me to see what shirt I'm going to wear, and it just looks better, it's a better space. I'll always keep my pants and shorts and my cat in there. Uh, okay, hi buddy, you comfy? Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, I got this one that I'm starting to fill. I got my guitar and mandolin in there, and. I have more shirts hanging up and stuff in there, so um, yeah, just trying to make it make it work a little better here in the bedroom area and functional for for me and Jax. Oh wait, I almost forgot. On Jax's side of the bed, he now has the fleece mariner blanket under there on his half of the bed. Remember, that is the blanket he was born in. I was gonna say he's had that for nine years, and then I remember he's got a birthday coming up. He will be nine here. I didn't miss it yet, buddy. Whoops, <laughs> it's coming though. So he loves that fleece blanket, and he'll lay right there next to me all night long under the covers. He'll need it for a little bit before he goes to sleep, and it's really nice for us. So take care, guys. Jax and I will see you very soon. Bye-bye.